small frogs and rodents may not be so lucky. Once hidden, the green pit uses a combination of tools to hunt. First, the snake uses its tongue, like a nose, to track its prey, sticking it into the air to pick up scent molecules. Its two forked tips deposit the molecules into the Jacobson's organ, located on the roof of its mouth. This organ tells the brain if these scents are from a potential meal. Once locked onto a scent, the ambush hunter settles into place and waits. Hanging motionless, coiled in a characteristic S shape, ready to pounce. As prey approaches, the pit viper employs its most remarkable trait, its pits. These pit-shaped organs contain membranes that sense the heat given off by warm-blooded prey. The snake processes the information with the same part of its brain as it uses for vision, resulting in a thermal image superimposed onto the visual one. This enables the pit viper to hone in on its target with pinpoint accuracy. Hinged fangs rest against the roof of the mouth, ready to pop open like a switchblade for the strike. They pierce deep into the mouse, delivering a hemotoxin that begins working immediately. Breaking down and destroying blood vessels and causing massive internal bleeding. Once the toxin takes effect, the green pit uses its fangs to walk the prey into its mouth. Head first and whole. Baby mambas are notoriously nervous and highly aggressive. But at this vulnerable age, they are still easy prey for mongoose, honey badgers, and predatory birds, all of which have immunity to a dose of snake venom. Over the coming months, the hatchlings will grow constantly and rapidly, and by a year, the females will be ready to mate and the males will be fighting for breeding rights. For now, their pin-sharp focus is finely tuned on their first mission, predation. Mambas prefer warm-blooded prey like small mammals and birds. of its life, this mamba will learn how much venom is necessary in order to immobilize each specific kill, sometimes bypassing venom altogether if the prey is small and helpless. Just days after birth, the baby mambas have already proven themselves as adept hunters. capable of fending for themselves and taking their rightful place in Mamba Valley. The green tree viper takes the high road. I think I see one right at the top.
They're a great example of evolutionary selection pressure, where they are perfectly adapted for their environment. They absolutely disappear. Sitting there on the branch, tail curled around it, and then in a nice little S shape. The tree viper wields the same venom as the Russells, but this is a hunter on a high wire, which brings its own unique challenges. Tree vipers belong to a group of snakes known as pit vipers, which have heat sensitive pits to detect warm blooded prey. Even in pitch darkness, it uses a thermal image to aim its strike. But once the venom is injected, the snake faces a problem. If it drops the rat now, it'll lose the meal. So the green tree viper has an answer. The viper's jaws are flexible. The fangs can walk the prey into position. While the snake remains firmly anchored in the tree, It's a brilliant way to steer clear of the competition on the ground. Squirrel colonies usually work together to fend off predators, but this female has decided to go it alone. She fluffs her tail to appear bigger, distracts the cobra, and shields her body from the snake's strikes. Sharp teeth deliver a quick bite to its tail. The cobra's strike could kill her. Drop for drop, the cape cobra's venom is thought to be more deadly than that of the black mamba. She's batting out of her league. Her cocky confidence takes a hit as she struck. But it's just a blade of grass. It's a reality check. She needs to back down. The action has caught the attention of a far meaner neighbor. In seconds, the squirrel's gone from snake killer to scaredy cat. She's bitten off more than she can chew. But lucky for her, this yellow mongoose is the resident cobra hitman. It's game on. Snakes to the mongoose are like peanuts to the squirrel. Guts of steel make him the perfect housemate. But he's not a freeloader. He's the colony's security system, specializing in deadly intruders. The Cobra's speedy defense strike is its trump card, the only thing that'll keep him alive. They are each other's prey, but they are also each other's deadliest opponents. The mongoose circles, looking for a weakness in the cobra's defense. A quick strike needs a Matrix-style getaway. It's a battle of speed. The Cobra tries intimidation, but it's not enough. They know that if either turns their back, they're a goner. They size up their weapons and punches fly. The Cobra delivers its winning blow. He's been spared from becoming Mongoose Dinner.
The mongoose is immune to a certain quantity of the cobra's venom, but right now, he's not hungry enough to push those limits. Of all the predators that use venom, the most notorious may be this one. The king cobra thrives in the forests and plains of southern Asia. His lethal venom and deadly fangs are renowned. All take caution when he patrols the forest, knowing that a mistaken encounter could turn deadly. In one bite, it delivers more venom than almost any other snake. Enough to kill 20 men in less than an hour. Or the biggest creature in the jungle. But the cobra's favorite food is other snakes. That doesn't make anyone less uneasy, though. They give him plenty of room to hunt. A tree offers an excellent vantage point to spot his next prey. And this rat snake tops the menu. The rat snake grows up to seven feet long, but carries no venom. The cobra can spot prey from nearly 300 feet. And it's found its own lunch. The rat snake detects its namesake prey. But it's unaware that it too is being stalked. rat is about to be rescued by an unlikely savior. The cobra can detect the other snake's movement through vibrations in the ground, but its direction finder is its tongue. The cobra can strike from over three feet away. The rat snake's resistance is futile. The cobra injects deadly venom through its fangs, like toxins through a pair of hypodermics. The venom floods the rat snake's nervous system. First comes dizziness, then sleepiness. Finally, paralysis. The cobra gulps its dinner whole. It can expand its jaws to accommodate a supersized meal, and its teeth also face backward to move the meal along. Digestion is already starting. Venom is eating away at its victim. The rat snake may still be alive, but locked in a coma from which it will never awaken. The zebra snake. On the hunt, the zebra snake's forked tongue flicks out to pick up scent molecules. It carries them to a special receptor in its mouth called the Jacobson's organ. This organ lets the brain know when prey is nearby.
the chameleon's camouflage is useless against a predator that relies almost entirely on scent. The chameleon tries escaping on foot, bright yellow with stress. Cornered, it uses gulps of air to appear as large as possible. To no avail. The chameleon makes one last ditch effort to fight off its killer, but the zebra snake doesn't fight back. Instead, it lets its powerful cytotoxic venom do the work. As the venom spreads, skin cells die one by one. The chameleon changes color one last time.
Black Mambas hunt their prey actively during the day. They travel quickly across the ground or enter burrows in search of rats and mice. The venom consists mainly of neurotoxins that are quickly absorbed by the prey, suffocating the young mouse in less than 20 seconds, due to the paralysis of the muscle of the respiratory system. An adult rat would be a sufficient meal for a full-grown black mamba. But since the mice are smaller, she kills and consumes three rodents in a single visit to the burrow. In spite of the name, the black mamba tends to be grayish-brown in color. The snake is named for the dark purple-black coloration found on the lining of the mouse.
Tudo uma vez para, não sei se eu não estou a trocar a minha. Olha, venha já a comer, vê o peseado. Só a pau. Jest blisko pół metra ode mnie. Kto to widział? Ale proszę po drugi aparat. Połyka od Olegona. Wyciąga się. Mam już teraz nie ucieknie. This one grabbed a gator with its razor-sharp teeth. Lacking venom, it had to use muscle power to kill its victim. New research has shown that as a snake's coils tighten, they cause a massive hike in the prey's blood pressure. So the alligator is as likely to have died from burst blood vessels as from suffocation. Snake skin is so flexible it can be stretched around the largest of mills without tearing. Even a tough armored alligator. In a matter of days, powerful stomach acid will completely dissolve the mill. This is an incredible feat. The python has swallowed an alligator half as large as itself. Who knows what else these invaders can snack on?